guys well today we're going to be taking a look at the Omnibus F4 V6 and the Typhoon BL Heli 32 35 amp SC alright guys so yeah so I think uh, we're going to go into a little bit of detail with regards to these alright I'm going to give you the likes and the dislikes about the two of them um, they came as a kit from Banggood right, and the way they were stacked was not going to work for my setup so I've had to figure out a quick little way on how to sort it out uh, which literally just involves switching a couple of wires in that plug and then as soon as you switch them over you're good to go so I'll, uh, I think we'll spin round and we'll get onto the bench so well, let's have a look at it in all its glory uh, when I received the flight controller and the SC stack this is what it's turned up like so <coughs> there's a couple of little niggly issues I've had but I'll run through them in a moment uh, so obviously you've got an Omnibus F4 on the top which is running beta flight 3.3 I, I will up well, I have upgraded it already to be fair up to 3.5.3 to which I'm going to do another video showing how to do it because it can, can be a little bit of a pain um, but yeah, so you got the flight controller. Uh, the flight controller has these little aluminium standoffs in between the flight control board and the ESC, which you've got rubber grommets on the top and the bottom. So obviously that's to space it, and you know it's, it's soft mounted. You know, as you can see, it's it can turn. So with it being soft mounted, you know it'll stop any vibrations getting through to the gyro. So the flight controller is an Omnibus F4 V6. It's got a new pad design on it compared to the V5. Uh, the new pad design is a lot better than what the V5 was. It hasn't got any through holes, so you know you end up instead with these larger size pads for being able to solder everything onto. So uh, with your VTX and your receiver, you'd solder both of them if the five volt anyway, which might the one I'm putting in this build is. You'd solder them both onto this pad. Um, <laughs> then you've also got on top of that, if we can, a bit of a pain trying to see around the camera. So you've got your LED pad, your RSSI pad if you need it, um, your RX4 which will be for the SC telemetry which I'll run through in a moment with you. And then you've got TX1 and RX1, and then TX3, RX3, can't even see what that is, what's that one? And TX5 and then another TX pad and then your two RX6's, the RX6 and TX6 as well. If you want to run 5 volt through these rails then what you'll need to do is you solder this jumper up here and this jumper will then entitle, will then put a 5 volt feed through the rail so you can then power your servos or anything if you're putting it in a wing if you're running individual ESCs, and obviously this is a ESC stack, so you've got the, the main ESC in the bottom and then all the time and everything runs through the, these wires which I'll run through in a moment, but if you've got individual ESCs and you want to be able to run telemetry, what you do is make sure that this jumper is as is, so it's not soldered, and you solder up that one. And then what that will then do is it will then run RX4 through these rails and then you can then put your telemetry wire for the SC1 on there number 2, number 3 and number 4 so <clears throat> that's how you get the ESC telemetry so if you're running BL Heli 32 which is what this the ESC underneath is then that's what you'll need to do if, if you're running individual ESCs then you will need to solder up this jumper pad just here and then you can then put your telemetry wires on that on that central rail. Um, <clears throat> what else have we got on here? We've got an 8 volt. You can solder your VTX onto there, and then you have your camera pads on the outside. Uh, you've also got your USB. I'll stick an, an external uh, IMU into it, so an external gyro. So if you ever if you feel that the gyro that's on here is it's uh, M, what was it now? An MPU 6000 gyro. Say for instance you want to go up to the, the IMU 2090, whatever it is, the one that most people don't like, but it's really good. Um, then you can then 
plug a ribbon cable into this and then run your gyro through there and all you'll do is on the on beta flight you've got to set your gyro to use stage one instead of state instead of the secondary one because your, your gyro on the board is classed as the secondary one. Since looking around on the internet and having a look at the likes of Hobby RC and a few of the other local companies in the UK uh, it seems that if you buy the flight controller or you buy the ESC it doesn't come with that cable so there's only Banggood where you get this and the ESC and the cable from it um, with the other companies yeah it's only you know like £1.15, £1.20 for the cable but you know it's it's, a, it's another hassle to be fair it should the ESC or the flight controller in my opinion should come with this cable so what we'll do now extremely quickly is dissect it and we will then pull the or I'll show you the ESC so we've got focused So next is your ESC, now as I was saying before you'll be able to run the ribbon cable between the flight controller and the ESC, it will plug in in this point and in that point there, it's not the one that I mentioned a minute ago which was the one above it, you know it's this one, so it runs in the side and runs into there, so <laughs> depending on which orientation you want to do it, speaking of orientation as well, I have had to modify this cable it turns out that in the orientation that I want to run the ESC at so which will be if you frames that way so you've got the front, back, left and right if you want to run the ESC in that configuration then this one's motor number 3 this one is motor number 1 this one's motor number 4 and that one is motor number 2 now for the beta flight configuration that's not right this needs to be motor number one instead of three that needs to be motor number two instead of motor one this needs to be motor number three instead of motor number four and that one needs to be motor number four instead of number two so I'll put a little drawing up in a moment on the screen just to show you what I've had to do but the cable that comes on this what I've done to save messing about having to do the resource reassignment and trying to reconfigure it all in the in beta flight it's just easier doing this so I've ended up I've swapped these four cables on the end so the first four so you'd have this one that red one is your power wire the next one is the ESC telemetry the next one is your ground and then the one after that is not used so then your next green wire is motor number one, then the yellow one is motor number two, then the white one's motor number three and the blue is number four. So in this in this end of the plug I've just swapped the wiring over so it will now read that as motor number one and that as motor number two and that as motor number three and so on and so on and so on. So <laughs> but I'll put a drawing up in a moment for you to see just think of if you want to run it in this orientation. If you quad, if you got your quad and you want to run it in that orientation, so your power wires come out the side and go up the side of the frame, so you'd have your front, your back, your left and your right hand side, then that's perfectly fine. The only thing you have to do is change the board orientation. Um, speaking of the board orientation as well, when you flash it with the latest version of beta flight, you need to change the roll axis by 180 degrees, but plus 180 degrees to get the board to rewrite because uh, otherwise it looks like it's upside down so <laughs> that's that little bit of info for you and I hope it helped um, anyway so back to the ESC as I was saying let me get this to focus up there we go so you've got these little standoffs now the little standoffs are not big enough to fit a M3 screw in uh, which is what you normally put through your frame so what I've ended up doing is I'm going to take these off take the rubber grommets out because they're only really small as well you can't fit an M3 screw, M3 screw through them and I've ended up making that 
on 3D printer. Now, it's obviously 3D printed, it's made out of rubber, or well, it's made out of Ninja Flex, so it should in theory work as well. So keep the vibrations out. To be honest with you, the MPU 6000 isn't prone to having issues with uh, with vibrations. Not like some of the, some of the other gyros, like the ICM 2090, whatever it is. Um, but yeah, so this is effectively your ESC. So on the side, you have your motor inputs or your motor output, should I say? Uh, you've got your main battery input there. Uh, they've also incidentally installed multiple capacitors on this now compared to the version 1 so you've got a lot more capac capacitors on it which in theory means you don't have to run an external one uh, to get rid of any video noise so we will uh, put that to the test and I'm going to try it with and without and see if it makes much of a difference but there's not really much to talk about with regards to the ESC you know it's, it's, it's uh, BL Heli 32 it's a 35 amp ESC as I said, it's had more more caps installed on it to try and get rid of any video noise. Uh, it runs on the same 8-pin JST plug, which is that. Uh, and it supports telemetry, and it's 6S capable as well. So if you one of the guys that is uh, wanting to go over to 6S, 6S like everybody is now, then you know this may well be the product for you. Um, and yeah, that's that's effectively it. So I'm going to uh, fit these into the new race quad, um, so it's still be an upcoming video for. And once I've fitted them in, I will show you how to update the firmware on the ESC, and I will also show you how to update the firmware and set everything up with regards to the flight controller as well. Oh, I completed it. Completely forgot to put in. There's a there's an affiliate link for the ESC and flight controller combo in the description. And um, if you do manage to buy anything from Banggood, though, please click that link because it'll it'll help give me a little bit of cash back towards buying more products to review for yourselves. Uh, incidentally, as well, there's a Patreon open. Um, I'm going to start doing giveaways with all the products that I've got. So they, obviously, I'm not going to give the quad away, but they, you know there'll be a run cam split two S up. It should be going up there for giveaway after I've reviewed it. Um, so I've, have a little look in the description and click on the Patreon link. And if you'd like to become a Patreon, then it would be more than appreciated. Thank you very much. Cheers for watching. And I will see you all on the next one, which I'll be reviewing. Them. In fact, you're probably not going to be able to see that. But I'll be reviewing these. I've left one off so I can do the measurements, but the rest of them have gone on. Uh, and then we've also got the world's smallest camera, which is tiny. So, yeah, see you all soon. Bye.